Whether soaked in gravy or monster patties with all the works, burgers are an American classic. And we're taking you across the country and beyond for 33 burgers to add to your bucket list. Let's start our first leg in LA. First up, we've got Original Tommy's, one of LA's best burger institutions. Burgers here are topped with a lot of chili. The location goes through 180 gallons of it a day. Now over to Gold Burger. This spot smashes its burgers on the grill. The go-to here is the double cheeseburger, which you can also get topped with pastrami. Another LA favorite coins its burger, the classic California burger. Pie and Burger's take goes like this. Patty topped with lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and house-made Thousand Island dressing. If that's too much meat for you, head on over to Monty's Good Burger. This one's all vegan and makes the Impossible Burger the star of the show. Now let's head over to Animal, a cheeky spot known for its boner burger. The burger gets its name from the bone marrow they put in the meat blend, which gets drizzled with that sauce you see dripping down the side, called 420 sauce. Okay, now for an untraditional option, plan check. It's famous for ketchup leather, which is ketchup baked in the oven for four hours and cut into squares. The perk here is that it won't make your burger soggy like other condiments would. Let's round up LA with another popular pick, burgers never say die. These burgers are smashed, paper thin, and topped with cheese, ketchup, onions, and pickles. Now, if you're in New York City, JG Mellon is known for having one of the best burgers. The classic is made with a double beef blend, cheese, onions, and pickles. Plus, crispy bacon is always an option too. Now, if you're in the mood for extra cheese, Buns Bar serves fried mozzarella for buns. Each burger comes with lettuce and tomato and is topped with sliced avocado. Emily mixes things up with a pretzel bun, grafton cheddar, and caramelized onions. Oh yeah, and there's that really delicious Emmy sauce lathered onto both buns, giving the burger a sweet and tangy flavor. Le Ravage blends two delicious foods together with its iconic French onion soup burger. The restaurant sandwiches ground meat between a toasted English muffin, then dresses it with tons of melted cheese and caramelized onions. Okay, now we have to give Peter Luger in Brooklyn its time to shine. The patties are ground fresh using a mix of dry aged steak and prime beef, and dressed with a slice of white raw onion. Action Burger brings a sweet and nutty twist to its bacon cheeseburger. This one's sandwiched between waffles and topped with a huge scoop of Nutella. When Red Hook Tavern opened in 2019, word spread fast. Critics and customers praised its burger served on a buttered hard roll, deliciously charred and topped with raw onion. Over at the Happiest Hour, they say the burger is like a combo of Shake Shack and In-N-Out. Dressed with onion confit, American cheese, and secret sauce, people say it tastes like the gourmet in and out Now across the Hudson River, Steve's Burgers is the talk of the town. The restaurant sports monstrous burgers, some loaded with pulled pork, red onion, pickles, and barbecue sauce. Considered the creator of America's first burger, Louis Lunch does it the same way it did in 1895. Freshly ground patties are cooked medium rare with no condiments, no exceptions. Another New England favorite is just steps from Harvard's campus. Mr. Bartley's towering burgers are famously named after some of the city's beloved sports figures, like Tom Brady and Jason Veritek. The Frida Burger is a Cuban staple popular throughout Miami. This one from Kush is topped with guava jelly and melted gruyere and stuffed with potato sticks and crispy bacon. Nearby in Miami, Pincho Factory makes the Tostone Burger. These deep fried smashed plantains are used as buns and bring the perfect sweet addition. Let's take it to the Midwest where one burger reigns supreme in Chicago. Oshaval's burger comes stacked with three slices of melted American, pickles, onions, and Dijonese, with an option to add deliciously thick bacon or an egg. 
Billy Goat Tavern is another Chicago staple where burgers are the go-to. Each patty is cooked extra thin and juicy, topped with cheddar cheese and layered onto a toasted Kaiser roll. In Wisconsin, it's all about the butter burger and no place does it like Solly's Grill. This one comes with a heaping chunk of butter on the burger for an added creamy and delicious component. Over in Minneapolis, a Juicy Lucy is a cheeseburger with melted cheese oozing out of the middle. Matt's Bar is one of two famous places claiming to be the brains behind this burger mashup. Now, if you're in Houston, Better Luck Tomorrow's Party Melt is a must try. The beef is a blend of Wagyu and brisket. It's topped with caramelized and red onions and sandwiched between crispy Parmesan crusted Texas toast. Across the pond, Dip and Flip makes London's juiciest burger. You'll get a beef patty with slices of roast beef or lamb dipped in gravy between a brioche bun. And make sure you use that side of gravy they give you to dip or drizzle on top. At Burger and Beyond, you'll want to get the bacon butter burger, called the BBB. You'll get a crispy texture from the pancetta and a delicious kick from the restaurant's signature burnt butter mayo. If you're looking to indulge, there's always the Herculean truffle burger at Florentine. It's so big, they serve it like a slice of pie. At Mac and Wild, customers favor the Veni Moo, a burger with dry-aged beef and venison patties. That sweetness you'll taste comes from its house sauce, which is a mix of red currant jelly and Dijon mustard. For another oversized cake, Check out Black's Burgers in Epsom, about 45 minutes south of London. This one has a bun in the middle to separate two stacks of cheeseburgers, lettuce, onions, and tomato. You can't go wrong with Honest Burgers if you're craving a bacon cheeseburger. Dry aged smoked bacon brings a nice salty flavor, while the sweet relish is there to cut through all that fattiness. In Brixton, there's a spot called The Joint, and it's known for adding extra cheese. The burgers here are massive, especially the ones overflowing with raclette. We'll round up this list with a burger you'll need to splurge on. It's called the Golden Giant, costs about $1,000, and is made with a two-pound patty and deliciously fatty Wagyu beef. 